nothing, not even Highbury lasts forever. A goal kick away, men are now at work on a residence fit for the future of this historic club. So for this most enduring and evocative of English football's homes, the famous clock ticks tellingly. Nothing, not even Arsenal's sublime current form lasts forever, so one day they will lose a league game again. But still unbeaten in this season's Premiership and five wins on the spin, they look as strong as ever today. Reinforced by Ashley Cole's return at left back and in place of Jose Antonio Reyes by Dennis Bergkamp's reappearance up front. Charlton's foundations are wobbled a bit by the suspension of Chris Perry. Jonathan Fortune starts for the first time since Boxing Day. And Jason Ewell tweaked her knee in training, so last week's match winner, Klaus Jensen, plays. <laughs> Dozen games to go, seven points clear. It is Arsenal's to lose. It is also, however, 300 days precisely since Arsenal did lose to anyone in the Barclay Card Premiership. May the 4th, Leeds won here, Manchester United won the title. Since then, it has gone pretty well, unequivocally, smoothly for the Gunners. But Charlton have given them problems in the memorable and relatively recent past. happy and constructive week in the life of Arsenal and of uh, Arsene Wenger documented well in today's matchday programme there he is on the centre circle of the new ground here's uh, Edu Henri flicking elegantly right from the start Cole Pires in search today of his 50th Arsenal goal Bergkamp Vieira. Pelo Toure. Arsenal 26 unbeaten at the start of the season in the Premiership, 28 unbeaten in the Premiership overall. 26 London derbies since last they lost one. Two Charlton it happens on this ground. Here is Jumberg though for Arsenal. In for Henri. Back for Freddy Jumberg. And Robert Perez collects his 50th goal for the club inside 100 seconds. Fluid and cogent right from the off. This is a team that looks week after week like champions. Their knowledge of each other's position and run is second to none. Everything about them is true and pure. Pires' final connection, perhaps an exception, but he got enough on it. And Arsenal are immediately ahead. The picture from any angle is a happy one. And Charlton have to chase the game at Highbury, which ain't an easy thing to do. by Vieira, touched on by Bergkamp, down the line for Vieira, who hasn't stopped moving here for Arsenal. Vieira, and here is Henri, it's already 2-0 Arsenal, they're flying away. It's not close to five past three yet. The clock can't catch up with the team it has watched at this ground for the greater part of a century. Arsenal just steaming out of the blocks, doing things with grace and precision, the way they have done in the Barclay Card Premiership since moment one. There is just no compromise. Just how worried are you for him? Just how concerned is he for himself? Just how grey does that face look to you? Yumba. Edu. Henri. Edu. <laughs> Try. He thinks anything's possible these days. It's 
spent the week in Spain showing the world that he has a right foot as well. But the uh, left foot remains preeminent, and from uh, an awful long way out, he had a depth of self belief which uh, told him it was worth a pop. De Canio. Neatly in for Jensen. Jensen's cross for De Canio, who has space and dug out a shot. Made it half a yard wide. Those are the uh, sorts of moments when you must come to have an expectation of uh, De Canio to deliver. Takes it back from Bergkamp with Henri ahead of him and Pires and Bergkamp. It's a fearsome Arsenal four. Bergkamp got it back from Fortune. Jumberg's gone outside of him. Bergkamp has delivered. North Bank wanted uh, Edu to have a smack at it. Henri. Jumberg. Worrying her right. And Freddie Jumberg. Touch on it from Kylie. There are just so many potential sources of a goal in the Arsenal side. Freddie Jumberg is proved to be one of them. And the third of the season has always been Charlton's Achilles heel since their return to the Premiership. And Alan Kerbishley and uh, Mervyn Day head into the final third. Same old worry, can they endure, can they last? Bergkamp, Pires, over the top for Thierry Henry, who hit the goalkeeper, yard either side, it was 3-0. The touch that went before was fun. Campbell started it rolling, Pires nicked it in and Henry nicked it over Horidison before the snapshot. Touré for Pires, last minute of the first half, Bergkamp. Free kick Arsenal. Within his range. Fortune with uh, the zealous tackle. And who has moved up the free kick queue just recently? and Henri disputed. It's Edu. <coughs> oh. Just enjoying his football now. All right. It's a blur if your train was late because you missed Robert Pires and Thierry Henry give Arsenal a two-goal lead inside the first four minutes and you arrived in time to see Arsenal thereafter take a total stranglehold. They still lead 2-0. 12 previous visitors to Highbury this Premiership season. Only Portsmouth and Fulham have escaped with so much as a point. But shot to do so here then that would indeed be... Uh, Feather in their cap. Possibly beaten inside the first five minutes of the first half. Going to have to uh, produce something special throughout the second. Camp searching out Cole. Cole might have kept it in. And he kept his feet. Campbell. In for Henri. And Henri for Vieira. It's a smashing pass. And Patrick Vieira has hung it up and Kylie has come onto it and carried it in. <laughs> Jumberg knows. 
That's a nice moment. What a sublime ball from uh, Thierry Henry. And you see, if Nat Lofthouse had been in there, that would have counted. But it uh, doesn't work for Freddy Jumberg half a century on. De Canio. Away from Edu. And from Torre. The challenge was uh, that of Lauren. De Canio's on the free kick that Lauren is suggesting he was after. Klaus Jensen. It is a game again. Immaculately placed by Klaus Jensen, who for the second time in three years scores memorably at Highbury. Couldn't have been more perfect. Down and out at five past three, Charlton are back in it at 20 past four. Dane has uh, had a big impact on Charlton's last eight days. They may have uh, a fair impact on Charlton and Arsenal's next half hour, but here is Pires. In for Henri. It's a fine stop by Kylie, who is having a fine game. There is some zip in the contest now. Super ball from uh, Robert Pires. Kylie made himself a, a big target. Safe with his right foot. Edu. Fish lost it. Henri has it. Jungberg wants it. Did very well to keep it in play. Freddie Jungberg on the burst. Eased over by Horaida. Santiris had a shot. Whistle had already gone. Arsenal have a free kick. Bergkamp's free kick, Vieira! Big, big chance. For the man who found his shooting boots last weekend, Patrick Vieira. But who couldn't find the target from very close and with plenty to aim at. Lauren, Vieira, Pires, foul on Vieira by Horaidison, free kick Arsenal. Jensen's free kick at the other end was a blueprint for a set-piece perfection. Thierry Henry has been there himself. And very nearly matched it. Kylie scrambling across to uh, get a limb on it. And who's corner? Carlton Cole's header out. Snow has started to fall. Bergkamp. Leave it out by Young rather awkwardly. Henri can concern him. And does. That hits the top of the crossbar. <laughs> Running at Young and then uh, squeezing his shot against Young's outstretched boot. Cotton Cole. By Ashley Cole. Getting round him and delivering well. And Stewart rising at the back post just couldn't leave her it in. It was a big chance for Charlton. Stewart might well hold his head. Having been presented here with uh, a more than reasonable chance to equalise for Charlton. Yeah. Reyes. Reyes. Reyes! Well, he's not been here long, but we can already say he's done it before from that. <laughs> On by Cole. Followed by Fortune. Out by Lauren. In again by Fitch. This is cut tight stuff from Chotten. Johansson! Oh! 
and away from the Canio by Siegel. And Jonathan Johansson has a head in his hands because he was, what, half an inch away from grabbing a spectacular and extraordinary equaliser for Charlton, who's still attacked now. Away by Vieira, and on by Siegel. And here is Reyes, with Ashley Cole ahead of him. And Cole for Henri, and Arsenal can seal it here. Thierry Henri, and Gilberto! From end to end, in seconds. With what speed and zest do Arsenal break. They could have sealed it here, but moments before, they could so easily have fritted it away. Johansson brilliantly overhead, denied by a post. A winter wonderland, this does not feel like to uh, Thierry Henry. It is icy out there. Well, on Arsenal roll. Not as regal as has regularly been the case recently, but it is now six wins on the spin for them. 29 games unbeaten in the Premiership. Jonathan Johansson rattled their post in stoppage time. Thierry Henry, weeks ago it seems, having scored their second, following up Robert Pires, all within the first three and a half minutes. Jensen's free kick gave Charlton hope. They deserved something in the end, but they didn't get it. Arsenal roll on, 2-1 winners. Arsen, you almost managed not to win that. Yes, uh, we played some outstanding football, but you could see a little bit everything in this game today. We were fluent, passing the ball very well in the uh, first part of the game after 2 nil up. In the second half, I think uh, we were dropped physically. You've just had a look at Robert Pires' goal, and, and you're convinced he's just offside, aren't you? Well, I was sitting upstairs, and you know, you, you see this so many times where um, players, uh, you know, balls are laid square. Uh, certainly when teams are on the break, it's laid square and the linesmen, I don't think, uh, take into account where they are. And I was sitting upstairs and I thought he was offside. Uh, and I, I've seen a replay of it and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to change my mind on that. I'm very disappointed with it. Your 